everyone so a recipe today that has been requested time and time again so many requests for this one tandoori lamb chops brilliant style in fact this has also been requested by one of my friends at asian wealth magazine so kp and team this one is for you i also had the privilege of being on the cover of asian wealth magazine a few years ago so tandoori lamb chops traditionally at the restaurant are cooked in the clay oven these ones we're going to use uh, our home oven so they should be amazing and really delicious let's get going with tandoori lamb chops so firstly what we need to do is ensure everybody has this essential ingredient which is a tenderizer it's raw papaya can be quite hard to get hold of raw papaya but um, we do use it at the restaurant this recipe doesn't use any yogurt which is also a tenderizer so really if you want to substitute with yogurt you can but I um, strongly suggest if you can get hold of some raw papaya then um, please do I normally get it I freeze it and then when I when I need it I just defrost it so we're going to be putting it into a little uh, blender with some water and let me go ahead and blend this this is a crucial ingredient, raw papaya. In fact, if you don't, if you don't have raw papaya and can get hold of a raw pineapple, that works as well. So let me go ahead and blend this. Okay, so my raw papaya has been pasted. And as you can see, it's not a paste as such, but you're always gonna have kind of that texture in there it's going to be quite fat in texture but that's just because it's raw papaya and that's as best as you're going to get which is perfectly fine and that's going to work well okay and next i have some spring lamb chops here so go to butcher and just ask your butcher for the spring lamb chops or you can use if you want you can use the french trimmed one that's also fine but what i want to do is just make small slits in these lamb chops. So if you can see what I'm doing, is just making small slits in my lamb chops. Now this recipe works for about 10 to 12 uh, lamb chops. And this is just so that obviously um, the meat will obviously allow the marination to seep in. And there'll be nice succulent lamb chops. And now with this recipe, can't break the rules, unfortunately. You know, I don't like leaving things to marinate unless I really have to. With this one, you actually have to overnight because you want the papaya to do its job and it's not gonna work within 30 minutes, not even two hours. Actually, you have to leave it overnight. So, yeah, no rule breaking on this one. Okay, let me get these back into here. Right, and now I am ready to make, my hands are clean. Uh, now I'm ready to make the marination. So, first of all, let's go in there with our raw papaya paste. Okay, great tenderizer. Also, lots of taste, lots of flavour. This is olive oil. Right, I now want all of these ingredients. Let me show you all of these ingredients which I'm going to get in. Oops, that almost fell. Okay, now, here we go. So in with some green chilli paste. So fresh green uh, bird's eye uh, chilies that have been made into a paste. Oops, what am I showing you? Here you go, <laughs> like that. Okay, um, some white vinegar, distilled vinegar, which is also going to act as a tenderizer in there like this. Uh, we need some salt for seasoning. Okay, we need some ginger garlic paste. Essential ingredients are ginger and garlic fresh. We need some red chili in there. We have got the green and now the red that we combined really, really well. Balance all the flavors, some turmeric for a little bit of color and obviously some color from the red chili um, as well. Here we have some white pepper. So let's get that in as well. Now, the two essential ingredients of this are nutmeg and green cardamom. These are two key secret ingredients of our tandoori lamb chops. Once these two combine, you get the most amazing flavors, the sweetness from the green cardamom, and then obviously all that nuttiness 
from the nutmeg and then cumin powder nice earthy warm flavor from the cumin and also then the nutmeg is nice and earthy and warm as well right that's all in there the reason i've added the olive oil is just to combine everything together give that a mix and now at this point if you wanted to add a pinch of like red food coloring you could if you want to just keep it natural that's your choice so i'm not going to add the red food coloring i'm just going to keep it as it is but if you did want a little bit more color on it you could add that at this stage okay is done what i want to do is my favorite bit taste that is yummy it's tangy you get all those amazing flavors from oh god that's quite hot as well flavors from the nutmeg the cumin excellent okay i'm gonna go in with my lamb chops and what i want to do is basically just marinate them as well as i can with all this delicious marination. Oh, that is good, that had a good flavor. Now, like I said, we want to, can you hear my dad singing by the way? So when I'm cooking, dad is singing, this is, can't get better than this, huh? Um, so what I'm going to do is leave these to marinate overnight, and then tomorrow I'll be cooking them, and I'll put them in an oven tray, in an oven on 175 degrees Celsius, and they'll take about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 to 25 minutes, depending on how you want them cooked. So if you want them medium, then a good look, 15 minutes is fine. If you want them well done, then maybe five minutes, six minutes uh, longer. But as you can see, these have coated really well with the marination, but you've got to let that marination now do its work. You work so hard on that papaya, we've got to let it do its job properly. So I hope you have enjoyed that recipe. I will share pictures with you of the final uh, tandoori lamb chop dish. In the meanwhile, let me show you this before I tell you to stay safe and stay happy. I'll be back soon with more recipes. Bye for now.